Oh, my bad. <laughs> okay, speedy. It's on my bike. Well, as of making this video anyways, you can't get it. So if you go to their website right now, you'll see that the option is not there. Thank you to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring this part of the video. Are you still carrying around that outdated bulky wallet? It's 2022 and it's time to upgrade. It easily holds up to 12 cars and will feel so much better in your front pocket while you're on your skateboard, your bike, or driving in your car. These wallets are so durable, they offer a lifetime warranty. That's probably why they have over 40,000 five-star reviews on their website. They have over 30 styles and colors to choose from and I picked out the Forge Pacific. This would make a perfect Father's Day gift for anybody. Get 15% off with free world-class shipping by going to ridge.com slash Mr. Central Driver or hitting the link down below in the description. So now let's get back into the video. All right, so let's go through this uh, road close sign real quick and uh, hopefully uh, no one says anything, but it doesn't look like anyone's working on it right now. So I think we'll be okay. It's the weekend, that's why. Saturday and Sunday, we're good to go on this road, but any other day, we're not. Another thing I want to tell you guys about is that, uh, so we haven't taken the Super 73 in probably a hot minute. And uh, I just happened to look at the back tire as I was setting it down before I took it to work. And there was just a big piece of glass stuck in the back tire. For one, it's the back tire, not the front tire. The front tire would be easy to fix. Anyway, it was right in between like all the threads, which sucks ass. I'm like, oh my God, out of all the places the glass can go through, it didn't go through the biggest part of the tire. It went through where there's really like the thinnest part of the tire. So I was like, oh my God, if we get a flat today, that's gonna suck. Um, there is a fix for it though. What I could do is, uh, it wasn't leaking air when I listened to it, but you never know if things could change later. So I can always go to like a 7-Eleven and get a little, um, basically like tire slime. I know it's not the best idea because when you take the tube apart, it's all messy, but uh, I can use that to fill up the tire just to at least get back home. And we're on a full charge. So, you know, if I had to take it easy, like on the way back, that's totally fine. That's not a, that's not a big deal at all. You can go. It's your turn to go. You're making everyone late at the four-way stop. I know you might be trying to be nice, but you were there way before I were. I'm already so used to the Super 73 taking it all the time that now, I, man, I want more power out of this thing. I, I really want to switch out the controller for like a, I think it's a Sabaton 72-150 because we have the 72-100, which basically the 100 means 100 amps. I want 150 amps, and then I believe you could change the flux on that to have more of a higher top speed. Um, the batteries that are in this battery pack, I think are good for 120 amps. So I don't think we would actually be able to push it to 150. But uh, I think getting a badass battery for this bike would be sick. But if I do get a battery from, uh, what's his name? Ian, he's from, um, He's from Hawaii and he does really good battery packs. But the thing is, he makes the whole frame the battery. And I want to be able to put my controller in the frame also. This guy's way over. That means I would have to put the controller underneath the seat and then that means I would have to get rid of the stock battery and the stock controller. And I don't know, we'd have to do that at one point, but I gotta figure out the lighting system after that. And the turn signals and all that. Ooh, we was moving. Lady, just walk in the street, why don't you? That's nice. Like there's no one gonna be on the road. It's okay. Woo. All right, 
Uh, so what's this van doing? Are they going straight or what? Now they got their blinker on. Are you going over? Because you got a blinker on. Okay. Oh, I should have turned. I should have definitely turned. That car is holding up everything. <laughs> the guy just looks like angry at the world. <laughs> he didn't care. I would have been pissed if I was that truck too. That guy had his blinker on for like, for like hundreds of feet and uh, he just turned launching along like all slow and shit. I would have been mad. Oh, that was the biggest pothole ever. Oh my God. That was a huge pothole. I ran it over and it just glided right over it. But man, if I was going slow enough, my tire would have sunk in it and that would have hurt bad, bad. Come on, little Versa. Come on, you got it. Man, what's up with these cement trucks? One, two, and three. Interesting. Someone's getting some cement work done right now. Something's going on. I want to go around these people, but they're starting to speed up, so I just kind of let it be. If I had the sir on, I would have just flew past them. Oh my God, what's up with this Toyota Camry? Go, 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 go. Woo, that's clean. I like that. Oh my God, you guys are probably hearing my shirt flap around back and forth. I'm gonna have to figure something out for my shirt when we do these vlogs now because it's so hot that all I have is my work shirt on instead of having a sweater or anything on. And I could just hear my shirt flapping away in the wind and I know it's probably causing a lot of noise because I can hear it through my helmet right now. All right, so are you guys gonna stay on to the left or the right thing? So I go around you. Oh man. Okay, I'll let them go. Go. Oh, are they gonna speed past them and cut them off? Oh, it looks like it. Oh, dang, oh, I called it. Man, I know how people drive around here. This is the perks, I guess, of living in Fresno since 1996. And then before this, I lived in Lemoore, which is a super small town. I actually kind of wish I was back in Lemoore or back in Hanford. Um, super nice. Okay, so I'm a bike. That's the benefits of uh, being a bike and technically a motorcycle at the same time. They're probably looking behind them and like, this kind of motorcycle is being a dick. <laughs> Cause I got a motorcycle helmet on. So I know if I was a car, I'd probably be like, what's this guy on? <laughs> so that's why I try to be courteous to people that like, if I was in their car, I got to think in their shoes, like, okay, I'm not going to be an asshole while riding. All right, we're here. Hey, what's up, Mark? How's it going? It is busy. What's up, Jesse? What's up, bro? Not much, man. Are you enjoying the cool down? It's nice. Yeah, you don't melt on the way to work. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually better than being in a car because I don't have to use AC and I get all the wind hitting me. I love it. <laughs> yeah. It's only when you're at a stoplight and you can't move. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Stace. Oh, my bad. Woo! <laughs> 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 
So uh, you have Vinny on the video, man. What? You got to, uh, when you have Vinny on the video. I don't know. I want to show him that electric bike. I'm going to have to bring it to his house one day, I You're think. you have to, dude. Yeah. Vinny's uh, gold. See you, Yeah. Man. See you, man. All right. You have a good one. Take care. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, I definitely have to show Vinny the electric bike company bike because I think he'll love that thing. But I'm a little worried that he might be a little too short for it because like I'm taller than him and I had a hard time. Getting yeah, it. he's gonna he's gonna get off and do the same thing and drop it. <laughs> he's gonna drop it on the other side. Yeah, like no, it, for sure. Like because uh, I totally when I was getting off the bike, I totally like dropped like that whole size difference. So I yeah I just took a different. Part. I don't know. And then I, I told people in the video that normally throttles on bikes are on the right side. And since that one has dual, they put the main one on this side. I, I wish it was switched where the main was, was on the right side because I'm used to that. But now you have to use this hand, so it's kind of weird. Oh. I'm used to using this, so it is what it is. But, all right, man. Just safe, bro. Yep. Tomorrow? Uh, yeah. The rest of this week till Sunday. <laughs> we jammed out of there. What a day. What a day. Ooh, I might have missed this red light. Let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, what a good day, though. It's always fun when uh, my manager, Michael, works. You know, we have a great time. We got good chemistry together. We're always, like, getting stuff done. No one's angry. No one's stressed. No one's mad. We just work really good together. Yeah, I definitely missed this light. Dang it. <laughs> Everyone's going and I'm still sitting here. I honestly just kind of want to go across the street, but This is the intersection where someone got hit and dragged for eight miles. So I'm good on trying to uh, Do anything out of the ordinary right here Honestly, this is the most sketchiest street when I leave work. That's why I always try to uh, Get off it as fast as possible Oh, and another thing I need to do is uh I need to dim the display for you guys because I know it's probably bright. I know you guys can't see it. So now you guys should be able to see my display. What a huge upgrade on this light compared to uh, using the electric bike company. Oh, it went back down to mode one. Yeah, the electric bike company, that light, you can't see anything. This one's so much better, like 10 times better. So I'd probably highly suggest if you guys ever get an electric bike company, e-bike, whatever it is. Um, the basket light is better than the stock one that comes on the bike. But uh, you're definitely going to want an aftermarket headlight on the bars, like, shining forward. Um, the reason why I've never changed out the headlight on the RX is because I like the fact that it hides all the wires with it being that little, you know, square box design. I was almost going to put a carbon fiber, like, piece on it. And uh, I was just going to call it a day because it hides everything. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking that I'm going to have to go with a cane built headlight. I've just never really pulled the trigger because this light works good enough, like I'm saying. But I want, I want a different look. That's honestly one of the main reasons why I want it. It's not even really about it's going to output more light. I just really want a different look. And uh, I think it's kind of time to just put something different on the bike. It's always fun to put mods on these things and talk about them. And, it, you know, I can make a video out of it. And a lot of you guys like my opinion on that stuff because I'm kind of, I'm nice, but I'm harsh. Like, I'll say it how it is. That's just how I feel. I got to say the pros and cons. Even stuff that I like, I got to say my pros and cons. And uh, I'm pretty excited going home today because I uh, got a Nest um, security camera, you know, just in case uh, anyone was going to try to... Uh, like break into my house or anything like that so i'm upgrading some cameras at the house and uh i want to go mess with that and get it all set up and installed and i don't know i just want to check it out i'm really interested um it's not going to be like a hardwired one it's just going to kind of be the ones that uses the outlet um i am going to probably get some battery ones for some like hard to uh hard to reach areas you know but easy enough that i can still replace and charge the battery if i need to but definitely going to be doing that and then air tags on the bikes. We got too many bikes to be messing around with now. And uh, if Aerial Rider sends us a bike, we're going to have a... It's like a fat tire mountain bike. Um, we're just trying to finalize 
some of the stuff on the contract that I just they haven't sent it to me yet um, I don't want to say exactly what it is but you know they wanted a couple videos a couple posts but not gonna get too much into all that information and I forgot I had turn signals on this bike so now I'm using them I totally blanked out and forgot And my tire's not flat, which is good. I talked about it earlier when I was coming to work that I had a big, big thing of glass in my tire. And of course it was right in between all the, the tread. I was like, oh my God, that's gonna like be a flat instant when I pulled it out. But no, it wasn't. So it was good. So I'll take it. Ooh. All right, side's always bumpy until we get a little, a couple feet on this road, then it evens out. All right, now we should be good. But yeah, so uh, I'm gonna get a headlight one of these days. Um, but I, like I said, I spent money on the security cameras. And uh, but like I said, I've been saving for a house. We've been talking about it for a long time. It's not the time to buy a house right now, but it's always a good time to save, regardless of anything. I can always wait to buy a house, but it always takes a long time to save money. But at the same time, I'm trying to, uh, you know spend some money on the channel so if i do sell my onyx to anybody which i still have it it's crazy um yeah i don't know we'll see about the onyx and i, I was thinking about i don't know i really want to buy the Telaria sting but then it's so similar to the Suron that i'm like man do i really really want to buy it and then i don't know it's almost the same exact bike but I do think that a lot of the people would watch the videos because mods are gonna start coming out, like the pedal kit just came out. Um, I think Greenline Engineering came out with a BAC 8000 for it and they're already sold out. So um, I feel like the people that are getting those kits, they're really gonna have some videos popping off here because people are gonna wanna know what you can do to that bike. And I heard it's a better build quality than the Suron. And I believe it. It's from one of the same guys that made the Suron. He just made it a little bit better fit a wider tire on there even though like to me that doesn't oh bumpy that doesn't really bother me just because i don't do dirt i don't do a lot of off-roading stuff oh pothole i didn't see that um but overall like i think if i'm not mistaken i think you could fit a bigger battery in that one i think someone was working on a 50 amp hour battery that just like fit in there and they didn't need any type of modification or anything like that but I haven't heard anything else about it. I just saw some pictures. Or I get something else. I don't know. But uh, the reason why I was talking about it is because if Aerial Rider does send us a bike for whatever reason. And we have to review that. We got that bike. And then we're also going to have a skateboard sent to us. Which I really hope comes through. Um, it's from the company WowGo. They were the very first company to reach out to me and send me a skateboard. And they were so kind to do that because i had no reviews on my website other than the bikes that i purchased myself and or parts i purchased myself so um that really kind of helped the channel a lot and i was very excited to review the skateboard so i can't mention what the skateboard is because it's not out yet there's no information on it but um they said it's gonna be a step up from the board that they kind of already have it's gonna be the most expensive one um, I know no specs about it whatsoever, but it'd be cool if they end up sending it. But sometimes, you know, stuff kind of gets messed up and stuff doesn't come through or the shipments don't come from China or customs holds your package or it gets lost or something. So anything can really happen. So that's why I don't really talk about stuff that I'm going to get from companies. But I'm more than excited to review a skateboard that no one has got yet, basically. So I'd be one of the first of a few people, select people, to review that skateboard. And I've been actually doing pretty good with WowGo. Um, people use my discount code a lot more than I thought. Man, finally they moved. But it's not, it's not crazy money. Um, I'm doing very good with Electric Bike Company. Uh, everyone uses my discount code. We're the number one people for Electric Bike Company, for the number, well, number one YouTuber that people use my discount for. So that's cool. Those guys are, man, those bikes, I'm telling you guys, and I'm not just saying this because they work with me. I mean, I haven't tested every bike out there and I'm being straight up honest. I'm sure there's great bikes out there other than Electric Bike Company. But the quality and craft, 
craftsmanship they put into those bikes i am not kidding you they are insane like every little detail and touch and the fact that you can customize every little thing on that bike it, it's insane when you actually see one in person you'll totally understand and i can understand why people are buying those bikes like crazy now they are more for like the older people um not really the young people because the way the bars are set up it's more of a beach cruiser it's not like a sporty type of electric bike man those people are going fast in the dirt i guess they live there i guess um we're gonna go the same way but their bikes are awesome so i'm thinking about keeping that other bike for a while and another thing i was gonna tell you guys whoo that was a big bump is that um so the electric bike company if i didn't mention it already i don't think i did but we have a one of one electric bike company model x and the reason why even though i customize it it's mine you know there's not another one like it because you know it, it's pretty much my color my design and everything um is the fact that there was a new e-bike law that passed and i guess they had to take the dual motor setup off their website so i apologize for you guys that watched my review on the electric bike company and i told you guys how badass the the turbo motor is well as of making this video anyways you can't get it so if you go to their website right now you'll see that the option is not there um but they're working on getting it back up there and all that stuff um i don't know exactly what the law is or you know what they were handed to take it off the website i'm not sure but that's crazy and that just tells me that the bike i own from them right now is a one-off i'm the only bike that they ever put a front motor on other than they had a d2 bike from the company and it was dual motor already but on the first bike that they actually took a model that they had and put an extra motor up front and did all the wiring and all that stuff so like that's a unique bike right there it might not mean anything special to any of you guys but to me i'm like damn i want to just keep this bike in my garage especially since i made it you know it's kind of like how do you kind of get rid of something like that and then i also feel like that's a safe bike for like my friends and stuff like that to ride uh, to ride and stuff like that even though my co-worker michael dropped it can't believe it i'm just kidding <laughs> love you michael but um yeah i'll see you guys in the next one i am home so thank you for watching all the rambling and talking e-heads love you guys true mvps of the channel peace out oh and don't forget to put in for the drawing for the skateboard you only have like a day or two left so go now to the link in the description